Welcome back, Seven Circles. I want to talk to you guys about truth. How do you know if something is real or not? It's obvious that we live in the age of information right now. Anything that you want to know is literally at the tip of your fingers. But here's something. You can type something into Google onto any one of these search, search engines and they will give you evidence to back up whatever you're saying. It's kind of like people who look into the Bible. They go, they pick out a particular verse and chapter to back up what they are saying. Doesn't necessarily mean that in that chapter and in that verse, that is what, um, you know, I, I mean, basically in that chapter and in that verse, that doesn't necessarily mean that that was the actual meaning of it. But you can take that and use it to back up what you are doing. And that's what a lot of people do, right? Look, they, you know, so when it comes to truth, right? How do we know something's real or not? You know, you can look on, 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 the, on the internet again and it could say, is eating meat a good thing? And there would be so many evidence for eating meat. There would be protein, there would be this, that, the other, and then there would be also be bad things about it. And then you would say, okay, is it good to have a vegan diet? And then they would say, oh, it's great to have a vegan diet. And they would have so many things why it's good to have a vegan diet. And then there will also be contradictory information on why it's not good to be a, a vegan. You would say, what about the still water? There'd be so many great things about the still water. And then, you know, there'd be so many things bad about the still water. And then, you know, the same thing with spring water, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So as an individual, as a man, as a woman, how do we know what is true? How do we know what is truth? And this is what I want to talk about. The fact of the matter is that a lot of times when we want to validate some things, uh, if something's accurate or not, what we do is we look outside. We look outside. We look outside at some search engine. We look outside at some book. We look outside at some person who has credibility. You know, some doctor, some dietitian, some politician, some scientist. And, and these people, where do they get their knowledge from? They got their knowledge from an institution. And what did, what did that institution gave them? It gave them a document, right? And how did they get that document? They had to study documents in order to get that document. And how did they um, get that document again? They became indoctrinated, you know? So basically they uh, memorized something and then they regurgitated it when it was time for the test and then they got a grade. And if they did that enough uh, times over enough years, or months, etc., and then they got a certificate, and now they said stamp of approval. You now know. I want to say this really quickly, and I know a lot of people have a short attention span nowadays, so they don't, don't watch things really, really long. But I do want to say this: I used to be a yoga instructor, right? And I've been a practitioner of yoga for a while now, over a decade. What I have to say is that there will be some girls who will come into yoga class, and and um, or in, yeah, yoga class, and they were instructors. They took a certification class of what uh, to be a yoga teacher, and you take that by taking a test and, and having a 200 hour or either a 500 hour, and you get a certificate from the Yoga Alliance. The Yoga Alliance wasn't even that, it's not even that old. And keep in mind, the, the yoga was only introduced in the United States like in the 1800s, early 1900s, okay. Yogananda was big for doing that amongst many other people. But what I'm trying to say is that these people like Yogananda, etc., etc., they didn't have no certification. They didn't they didn't have this. And how did they learn learn yoga? They learned it from a guru and also they learned it by going with inside of themselves. You know, so these people from institutions, doctors, politicians, I don't care if it's Fauci, I don't care if it's if it's Biden, I don't care if it's Trump, I don't care if it's Elon Musk, I don't care if it's Bill Gates. Nobody knows more than you know. Because all of the answers are inside of you. And this is what all of the great sages who gave a great message throughout the year, they always said to go within. The kingdom is within. I don't care if it was Buddha, I don't care if it was Jesus, I don't care if it was Krishna, I don't care if it was Enoch, I don't care if it was Muhammad, I don't care if whoever. They always told you to go inside of you. How do we know if something's true or not? Look inside of yourself and the answer is literally right there. Your heart is the barometer. Your heart is the barometer. So don't be confused. Don't be confused by 
you know, uh, uh, what a social media might say about if something's right or if something's wrong. Don't be confused by what Google might say, what is right or what is wrong. Don't be confused about what a politician might say, what is right or what is wrong. Don't be confused about what your parents might say, what is right or what is wrong. Only you know what is right or what is wrong. And you have to go inside of yourself in order to find the answers. And all it takes is for you to be silent. And all it takes is for you to have a genuine, a genuine wanting, yearning, a concern to know what is true and what is not. It's a lot of people taking that jab and, 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 um, you know, there's so much information. You can listen to see an end. They would say one thing. You can listen to Fox. They would say another thing. I say cut out the middleman. You don't need no middleman to know what is right for you. People, people don't even know you. Everybody has secrets. You know all of your secrets. You know everything about yourself. So how dare you go to somebody else to ask them, is this right for you? Take your power back. Stop giving your power away. Stop giving your power away. Take your power back. Look in the mirror and realize that you have all of the answers. My name is Jonathan. Thanks for tuning in to Seven Circles. I love you guys so much. This is the only reason why I do this. Hope you have a great day, great week, great month, great year, and a great life. Until next time, peace.